In this video, I'd like to introduce you to cell references. References are an extremely important tool in Excel. I'd also like to introduce you to using the basic operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And I'd like to share with you the most important functions in Excel. Let's start off with references. References link the value from one cell to another. So for example, if I want to indicate the highest value here, I could write here, highest value and link back to the highest value is May, which is cell C6. So here I would type in equals C6. And now the value of 6100 is moved over here. If this value were to change to 6200, then so too would the reference. Can I move that, switch that back? Whenever you're entering references, always start with an equal sign. And a shortcut for doing this is simply to type in the equal sign and then select the value that you choose. So instead of typing in C2, I can simply collect, select C2 with my pointer and then hit enter. And Microsoft will create the reference for me. Microsoft Excel allows for the four basic operators of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. For example, if you want to enter a, a total, you can simply type in equals, select the first cell, plus the second, plus third. I'll show you an easier way to do this in a moment. And Microsoft will do the addition for me. If any of these numbers change, let's say June changed to 489, then the total would also change automatically. Excel can perform subtraction. Again, let's say we want to see the change from January to February. I can simply take the contents of February's value and subtract January's value. Click C3 minus C2, hit enter, and Excel does the subtraction for me. For multiplication, just use an asterisk. So let's say I wanted to multiply the number in January by the value. I would type in equals, select the number 600, type in an asterisk, and then select the value and hit enter and Excel multiplies for me. Again, if any of these numbers change, then all of the references to those values also change. When you're using Microsoft Excel, there's no need to ever use a calculator. If you're using a calculator to manually add, subtract, multiply, divide, or any of that, then you're doing something wrong. It's much easier to enter the formulas directly into Excel and have Excel do all the math for you. Let's suppose we want to divide May value divided by the April value. To figure that out, I simply take 6100, select it, enter a slash for divide, and choose 4700. And it's, that the answer, the division is done for me, 1.297. In addition to the four basic operators, Excel can also use formulas, what are called functions, to deliver more complicated operations. So if I want to do a sum, instead of adding the items individually as I did over here, I can simply use the sum function. I start by typing in equals, and then this particular function for sum is sum sum, open parentheses, and then select all the cells that I want. I can also type them in. I can type in C2.C7. Or I can simply select them with my pointer. Close parentheses, and Excel will deliver me the sum. If I'm looking for averages, I can use a function for that too. So for example, my average of these cells, I would enter an equal sign, type in average, open parentheses, highlight the cells I wish to average, close parentheses, and Excel calculates my average.
In the old days, we did this on paper, and if you had any change, you would have to do everything manually, and it could literally take hours. One more important function is the hyperlink function. To enter a hyperlink, it, it can be a reference to the web, or it can also be a reference to a file in your computer. Type in equals hyperlink, open parentheses, in quotes, type in the address of the website, close quotes, enter a comma. If you want to put some text in there, enter that in parentheses too. Close quotes and then close parentheses and hit enter. And this will be a hyperlink to my website. If you enjoy this video, please click like, leave a comment, and look for more videos on how to use Excel.